and you put it on and you just make this a bit tight so it doesn't fall off. The you are there is really unimaginable until you've experienced it. I, I've never had a person, I've had people come in and say, oh, I have VR whatever. And then when you put them in the headset, even if they don't like it, their reaction is usually, whoa, <laughs> I was somewhere else for a while. Tonight we were doing a pilot of the Body Swaps program, which is a program that allows you to experience a variety of difficult scenarios and practice uh, in a safe space inside a virtual reality. We became familiar with how they're using VR and AR to develop soft skills. You're prompted to have a difficult conversation or prompted to say something, and you say it, and then you hear it and see it back in your avatar, and then AI gives you feedback on it. Because of the way the headsets work, they can detect a lot of hand motion because the controllers are detecting that. Uh, I can tell whether you're umming and eyeing and things like that. So because the parameters of the specific case are limited enough, the AI can give you accurate uh, research-based feedback. Your brain thinks it went through this experience in real life, even though it's in a virtual setting. Um, the feelings are real, the experience is real, even though the setting is not in the physical world. We're not going to put the technology tree back into the acorn. This technology around VR, AR, and AI have blossomed. We're not going to get it back into the acorn, so what can we do with it? How do we design new technology, emerging technology, with the student mind? 